Hi, it's KJ. Again, welcome to day five of our 14 day challenge. Today we'll be going over string theory. Um, I'm going to be going over different ways to memorize strings, how important it is to know the notes, and how you can do that the easiest way possible. Thanks, and please stay tuned. So if you look at the strings of a bass, um, and if you hold it, if you're right-handed like most of you will be, the top string, when you're holding on your lap, would be the E string. So it would be the largest string with the lowest sound. So that's the E string. Below it is the A, D, and G. So the G would be on the bottom when you're holding it in your lap, and it is the smallest or thinnest string. So basically when you look at them, the E string is the lowest sound, also the biggest string. G is the smallest string and the highest sound. So it's pretty pretty basic, uh, really, E, A, D, G. Uh, and if you look at it uh, up top to bottom, that's how it would lie out. So a really great way, because it's important to know this, um, is to memorize EADG as an acronym. So an acronym is like IBM, International Business Machines. Um, it's just a way, a shortened form of the word. So we're, I'm going to give you some examples. Choose your favorite one. This can be a little bit of fun. So here are the top six of them. Eddie ate dynamite. Good. Elephants always do good. Eat a dead goat. Every adversary dies gloriously. That's kind of wordy. Uh, eat at Dan's grill or eat another donut, Gary. Um, to, of course, check out my book, Titans of Base by KJ Jensen. Uh, link below to follow along to all these days so this will make more sense. And it's actually in the book as well. I kind of like elephants always too good. Um, it's easy to remember. It's not too crazy. So choose your own and just remember EADG, the easiest way. Like I mentioned in the Titans of Bass book, um, it gives a really interesting way of the rest of the notes. On page 76 of the book, uh, it goes over the notes and the scales A to G, uh, basically the, the in-betweens. So you can go either sharp or flat and how they lie out there. So please check out that book as it's uh, more theory and it's uh, really good to read and to know. So as we learn how to pluck the strings, we always have the big controversial question of to use a pick or to not use a pick. So let's get into this one. So a pick is a very useful tool to know how to use. So are we going to start with one or are we not going to start with one? I asked the base titans and here's what they've said. I like Verdine White's uh, answer from Earth, Wind and Fire. Uh, he said, I think that students should start with their fingers. I've never used a pick. So this is not an anti-pick book. Uh, there was a lot of the Titans, as you'll notice by reading it, that were pro-pick. But I think what we're going to do is start with not using a pick. So when you start not using a pick, basically you can then use a pick later. So you're going to learn um, using your fingers, which is the most traditional way. Um, so what you do is you take your index and middle fingers when you're plucking the strings. And we're going to start plucking the open strings, uh, the E string with your first or index finger and then your middle finger like this. So that's the exercise for today. So the practice is to practice hit striking or plucking the E string for 10 seconds with your finger. So we want, we want to lay out the notes, a large note. So hit it once and twice, and then the A, the D and the G. So you want the whole notes to ring out. Um, practice five times. Look in the book for more directions, but this is the exercise today. Just get used to plucking this, the, each string and going up and down the, the uh, top to bottom. So E to G and then back again. So you want to get used to the feel. Don't worry about how fast you go. Uh, you want to cl cleanly hit the strings with your plucking hand. That's the important part of this exercise, just getting used to hitting the, the string with your fingers. Thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned for day six tomorrow. Uh, please like, subscribe, put your comments in, questions, everything like that. And we're going to keep on going until you learn the uh, secret song, which is coming right up. Thanks for watching.